I guess if we're marking the chapters by songs, you have to start with Storm Warning because that was here. That was the first song I recorded for the debut record. Uh, we went in and I, we were all just feeling it and that's why the, 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 the riff is an acoustic guitar just doing kind of a evolved version of kind of like a, like a steel-ish kind of part out of a Cajun song kind of deal. Then you sort of move on from there, you fast forward about a year and a half-ish, and we were recording stuff for Encore, but I wasn't necessarily thinking about Encore, I was thinking about just new stuff. I was just looking at recording new music at, at that point, you know? And that was kind of where I kind of rediscovered the mix of like acoustic with electric and the celebration of it, but not having like that super heavy, like electric side of it. It was just kind of all very light and really, really celebratory in a way. Um, and I got really excited about that. So that led into kind of the next chapter, which begins the record of storyline. I think most of that record would be marked more by like um, a flashlight or a you think you know somebody. The record was kind of, it was a bit heavier. <laughs> it was, I, I think it was drastically heavier. And then now moving back into sort of a, a happier state of mind, I guess for me, there's a lot more acoustic information. I'm fascinated by like the mandolin, uh, which is why it made such a prominent appearance on like 21. Um, and obviously I love acoustic, anything acoustic. It just really drives in this very sort of organic sounding way. Um, and you pair that with, you know, I don't know, very strategically discovered, <laughs> you know, electric sounds that, that don't kind of overdo it. And you've got this really nice expressive combination of things. The depth of the, the, the sound is just like, just brings you into it. It brings you into those rooms. And you, you're, you're a part of it. 